from NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. Tonight in our ongoing series of reports about those among us who are making a difference, a man who has agreed to part with some of his fortune. He's been fortunate in life, and while 1% of all that he makes doesn't sound like much, it gets to be a lot more when others follow along. Our report tonight from NBC's Rahima Ellis. You go to any of those kids. Yvonne Chenard never set high, out to know, become a business to legend, and... but as founder and owner of outdoor clothing giant Patagonia, he's come close. I got a degree in auto mechanics from John Burroughs High School. <laughs> At 67, when he's not running his company, Chenard is surfing the California coast, rock climbing, fishing. An outdoorsman, he's long been known for his dedication to environmental causes. Solar panels in the Patagonia parking lot. Organic clothing. Since 1996, we've only used organically grown cotton. In the past two decades, Chenard has donated 1% of his annual gross sales to environmental causes, $22 million. For me, it's an earth tax. It's a tax, taxing ourselves for being polluters, for using up non-renewable resources. When he met Craig Matthews, owner of a Montana fly fishing company, he found a kindred spirit. Matthews was also donating 1% of his sales, that money going to the Yellowstone Park Foundation. He called me up and he said, do you really do this? And I said, yes, we do. And he said, you know, we've been doing this too. He said, we got to get together. Together, they formed an alliance called 1% for the Planet, now 250 companies strong. Dick Franiel's restaurant on the Chesapeake Bay is one of them. The water here and the oyster beds had been ravaged by years of overfishing and pollution. But money from the 1% program has helped to change that. Customers more and more want to spend their dollars where there's meaning. And while 1% may not sound like much, Chenard is trying to start a revolution. You start thinking locally and then pretty soon you start realizing that it's a small planet and we got to save all of it. A big goal for a man who's always started small. Yeah. Rahima Ellis, NBC News, Ventura, California. That's our broadcast for this Friday night. Thank you for being with us. I'm Brian Williams. We hope you can join us again on Monday night. Happy St. Patty's Day. Have a good weekend. Good night.